Hey, good morning fam. It's your boy Josh. Our favorite game ended up blowing out, which killed some of our key targets. It's a major bummer because we were really looking forward to that game. I knew Memphis would come out hungry and win the game, but I didn't think it would be that lopsided. Foul trouble hurt the T-Wolves, and kudos to Taylor Jenkins for making the correct adjustment by benching Steven Adams, who only played three minutes. This is something we, we predicted in the live stream yesterday. That was the major difference in this game, as Tillman and Clark played great and gave Cat problems all game long, and Morant was unstoppable. He controlled the game with almost a triple dub. He is so entertaining to watch in a walking highlight reel. D-Book was on fire in the first half. He went 7-10 from 3, and the only thing that stopped him and the Suns from winning was a hamstring injury that kept him out for most of the second half. He even fist bumped a fan after the shot that caused the injury. It also didn't help that Ingram had a career game and the Pelicans shot lights out from three. So they stole that one, but I think the Suns will be fine. We have three more games today with the well-anticipated rematch between the Celtics and Nets. So let's get hunting. The Nets at Celtics has a four point spread and a 226 implied total. This is the game. So get your popcorn ready. This should be another awesome real life basketball game to watch. And we have so much narrative surrounding Kyrie after he flicked off the Celtics fans multiple times in that last game. And he was recently fined 50k for that. So his real points are live if he comes out hungry again. He was definitely motivated. But I also like his 5.5 assist prop because I have a feeling that KD shows up today. I don't think KD will shoot that poorly again. And he will do whatever it takes to avoid going down 0-2 in this series. So I like his 29.5 points or 49 fantasy points. I think he will get up for this rematch after watching Tatum pull off that spin move buzzer beater for the win. I also like Bruce Brown's 11.5 points. He will play big minutes again and should have a lot of open looks. Drummond was getting absolutely burned on defense as he couldn't keep up with Horford on the perimeter. And Steve Nash favors Claxton for his defense on versatile guards and forwards like Tatum and Brown. So I really like Claxton's points or fantasy points. He should close over Drummond again and play more minutes. But we will have to wait for his props to drop later today. But keep an eye out for him. For the Celtics, Tatum's assist prop is finally back, which was a honeywell for us all season long. So I will definitely target that as he will be the primary playmaker again today. I did notice that a lot of his assists came through the pick and roll action with Horford. I really like Horford today. He played 40 plus minutes and he was a mismatch for the Nets, especially Drummond. So I will target his 12.5 points and 36 fantasy points. This will be a key target today. Other secondary plays will be Marcus Smart's assist or fantasy points, since he will be active on defense and will help to set up plays in offense. Jalen Brown should be active on the glass, so his rebound prop is always live, but it's more of a fringe play since it involves more variance. Also, it's hard predicting Jalen's offensive potential with Tatum dominating playmaking duties, but Jalen can get hot from three at any time. The Sixers at Raptors has a two point spread and a 217 applied total. The Raptors will have to go all in today to stay alive in this series. So I expect Van Vliet and Siakam to ball out in front of Drake and the home crowd. So I will target their assists and fantasy points since they will command the floor and try to dictate the game. OG will be needed for his scoring with Barnes being out again and Trent dealing with an illness. So I will target his two and a half three point made and 18 and a half points. For the Sixers, Thibault is out and this game should stay closer. So I like Harden's assist prop, especially since it's less than 10. You can pair this with Maxi's points or fantasy points since the Raptors have no answer for him. And you could also pair it with Tobias Harris's three, uh, one and a half three point made or fantasy points. I just don't know what to do with Embiid. His props are juiced as usual, but if this game actually stays close like Vegas thinks it will, then Embiid's real points is always live. The Bulls at Bucks has a 10 point spread with a 225 implied total. This series feels like it will be a heavyweight, gritty fight with a lot of fouls and a low scoring battle. But it does have a somewhat healthy implied total. And I think DeRozan tries to carry the team on his back, so I will consider his 40 fantasy points. He could have a bounce back game in terms of scoring. But it's important to note that Wes Matthews did a good job defending him last game. Vooch led in usage last game, so he could consider his fantasy or real points. And Levine will chuck it from three again. He shot two of ten last game, so he could bounce back today. Therefore, I will consider his two and a half three point made prop. On the Bucks side, I noticed that we are getting a discount on Middleton's PRA, which is rare. The sports books have him at 32 and a half PRA with people smashing the over on it already. And we get him at 31 and a half on price picks. Drew's assist prop is always live. Last game he dished it out a lot, but they just couldn't hit their shots. Brooke Lopez continues to thrive against Vooch, 
so his real points are in play again today. And Giannis keeps killing the Bulls on the glass, and he should do the same today, especially if the Bulls continue to struggle from three or from the field in general. This game is just hard to call, since these two teams know each other so well now, but maybe we get more points this time around. So let's recap our favorite targets so far. First, KD's 29.5 points or 49 fantasy points. Second, Kyrie's 5.5 assists. And third, Horford's 12.5 points or 36 fantasy points. Fourth, Tatum's 4.5 assists. And fifth, Siakam's 5.5 assists or fantasy points. And the same goes for Van Vliet too. And lastly, DeRozan's 40 fantasy points. I can't wait to watch this rematch between the Celtics and Nets. What do you guys think? Do the Nets steal one in Boston, or do the Celtics put the clamp down? Let us know in the comments section below. I'm going to digest game film some more, and we'll provide more insight tomorrow in our live stream at 4 p.m. Eastern. So come join me and Gun. We will go prop hunting together, which is always a lot of fun. So as always, best of luck everyone. I hope you crush it, and take care.